It's a dramatic police video showing a high-speed drunk driving crash in the middle of a small New Mexico town. The driver, who police say caused it, not only walked away from the crash with light injuries, he now has a warrant out for his arrest. News 13's Madison Connor has the video. Ooh. This is what finally stopped a car speeding through the streets of Gallup. Vehicle fled and uh, went through the intersection of uh, Ford and 66. Failed to stop at a stop sign and sideswiped the pickup truck 10 for. It happened just after midnight on a Saturday in April, starting with a car speeding past a New Mexico State police officer. Send me another unit. Had a vehicle going 83 on uh, Montoya. The officer chased after the car who continued speeding down Montoya, then turning onto the Miyamura overpass well ahead of the officer. Just over the hill, the officer saw the suspect run a red light. As soon as he came down the hill, that's when he went through the intersection. Oh, dang. Behind the wheel was 19-year-old Darren Snyder, who had two women in the car. And getting Snyder's info wasn't easy. Officer? Huh? My homegirl needs attention back here. Oh, I'm... that's what I'm trying to do, but you're not cooperating with me. He told officers he hadn't drank much. Be honest with me, how much you had to drink tonight? I'm not too sure. I think it can. Somehow, the driver of the other truck wasn't hurt, but Snyder and his passengers were taken to the hospital. Officers found a twisted tea and a bottle of vodka in the car. Look at me. You know, I need your attention, bud, okay? At the hospital, Snyder seemed in and out of consciousness. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating and liquor and our drugs. Snyder is facing DWI, fleeing, and other charges. Madison Connor, CareQE, News 13. Court records indicate that Snyder didn't show up to a hearing in the case two weeks ago. He now has a warrant out for his arrest.